Hi guys, Joe Hildreth here from MyHeat.com. Hey, I realize it's been a little while since I put out a video, but you know how life goes. I had a couple of had a co-worker pass and a friend pass, and, and just things are just slammed at work. And uh, so, I mean, you can do what you can do. So anyway, uh, I thought I'd do something just a little bit different today. Uh, today, uh, I'd like to extend a huge thanks to CNC Nuts. Uh, uh, great channel. I, if you're into uh, CNC, uh, wood carving, and that sort of stuff, it's definitely worth a visit. Uh, so, one of the projects that uh, Peter put out um, a couple years ago was uh, this this ghost. And so, I'm going to cut one on the machine, let you guys see it, and uh, hopefully, maybe I can get some uh, pictures of the painted project and that sort of thing. Most of this video, of course, is going to be played uh, much faster, maybe with some background music or some narration or something. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoy it and something different. And if you're interested in this sort of stuff and like to see more videos, let me know. This machine here I built um, a year or so ago. Uh, it's based off of uh, uh, Michael Simpson's um, KRM uh, X01 CNC router. Uh, it's a fairly good machine. It does have its issues. Um, uh, not issues that uh, Mike wasn't uh, aware of and warned against. Uh, there are a few upgrades I still want to do to it. Uh, I think I'm going to cover those. Uh, some of the things I need to do is I need to add limit switches. I need to uh, install my PID for the router, uh, vacuum control, and stuff like that. So there's a little bit more that I need to do to it. Um, also, I think I want to replace the aluminum uh, V-rails up there with... Um, some steel ones. And again, I'm going to uh, uh, push out a huge thanks uh, to Peter Pusuelo, or I think that's how you say his name. I'm not real sure. Peter, if I chewed up your name, man, I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, CNC Nuts, a uh, great channel. I encourage you to go look at some of the stuff he's doing. It's pretty amazing. Currently, he's working on a, um, a 3D uh, puzzle train uh, for his brother that he actually plans to uh, motorize, I think, is where they're wanting to go with it. Uh, he's got one episode out. He'll probably have another one out soon. Uh, w worth the watch. It's great stuff. So, um, the only other thing I want to say about this machine is uh, I run Linux CNC. If you uh, were to build this machine, I think Peter, um, I'm sorry, Mike Simpson uh, uses um, Mach 3. And I think Mach 4 is out now. Uh, but I'm a little different. I kind of enjoy the open source uh, stuff. Linux CNC is, is a great uh, free uh, CNC controller. It can control about anything that you can think of, whether it's a CNC router, a mill, a lathe, a hex pod, robots, pick, pick machines, you name it. You can uh, pretty much control it with Linux CNC. And some of the things that I would like to do is show you how to, uh, how to make modifications, maybe uh, cover some of the hardware and that sort of stuff, if you guys are interested. So... All right, so I'm going to stop blathering and carrying on here, and I'm going to reposition the camera and get the machine set up, and uh, let's cut out another one of these ghosts. So, other than that, I'll see you shortly.
well there you have it second ghost cut out now all I need to be is painted up and a stake added to it and put them out in the yard so uh, if you don't hear, hear from me before uh, Halloween uh, have a great Halloween and uh, make sure the kids have some fun and and uh, be safe so as always thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed this little project cut out again I want to send a big thanks to uh, Peter from uh, CNC Nuts there uh, in the land down under I uh, appreciate the files for this and I've done a few more and I'll try to tack on uh, a picture uh, of some of the other ones that I've made on the end so other than that have a blessed day